Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, Joff Mo Hotel Adventures. I had an email today, interestingly enough, about my total um, cold fridge, which um, this lady was saying, how are you getting on with it? Um, and she was about to order one. Well, basically, I thought, yeah, it's about time I uh, needed to uh, hot up and uh, give you an update on how we got on with this. We used this over Christmas on our recent... Uh, trip to Scotland and uh, it proved so invaluable we literally before we left home we filled it with all our um, favorite foods we took a couple of roast chicken a, ro a couple of roast turkeys for Christmas uh, ready meals and uh, there was pizzas in there there was ice cream all sorts of swag inside and we survived for literally like 10 days and I think we even brought some cod bites some bits of uh, um, chicken back that was still in the bottom of the freezer so we could have probably survived for another um, a couple more days three days maybe um, so yeah absolutely godsend for us we don't want to be shopping when we're on holiday I don't want to be going into supermarkets big camper vans in supermarkets just does not work so uh, it just saves a lot of aggravation for us uh, going into supermarkets, no chance. But yeah, you can you can always grab your your your, your milk, your bread, stuff like that from anywhere basically. But uh, when it comes to big sort of frozen, more frozen food stuff like that, big meals, um, it's all in the box. So let's show you. Yeah, so I thought I'd just um, show you again. Uh, the lady was saying, did you use it on campsites? No, we used it plugged into my garage with a 12 volt lead permanently. So there's the plug, which is the same as the two. So that plugs into your cigarette socket and ours, it went beautifully for all that time we just left it plugged in the only thing in obviously my motor home is uh, because of my um, electrical system in this we had to leave the electrical switch on which was not a problem we just had to be right we, we normally turn it off we leave it on for the um, socket in the in the garage area but um so with this um, fridge box you get the other lead which is the 240 so yeah if you were on a campsite and want to hook it up to the mains you can basically just take the little block plug and he will sit in the back of the unit that just plugs in there in the back of the unit and then into there and the display automatically comes up i'm going to tag some photos in for the display settings we're going to put the dimensions in as well with the box the lady was asking me if it fits in between the seats um so yeah what we're going to do is tag in them uh, dimensions. This is the super big one, the 55 liter. Um, I'm just going to uh, open her up. This is where you've got that lovely. Oh my god! This is where you got that lovely little light in there. Just going to turn that off, look, so you can see the light inside. Amazing. Just as a guide to the inside. So look, there's a conventional can of Coke. I'll place that right down in the bottom so you can get an aspect of how big this box is. Look. And this is the freezer compartment and this is the fridge compartment at the back. So you can still get a uh, six pack. You could probably get 12. You can get 12 cans of Coke in there. Um, bottled water. You can put your salad in there. You can put sandwiches. You can put your cheese. You can put butter. That's the stuff you can go in there if you don't want it in the fridge in your motorhome, you know. So, but basically for us, we wanted this area because in our motorhome fridge with a little freezer box is that big. So, yeah, a lot more space in the in the uh, the total freeze fifty five. Um, one thing I'm going to mention is if you're fitting it in your garage or whatever, always keep the vents. There's a vent this side, there's a vent the other side where the air has to circulate around the motor. So don't block them over because um, it will overheat your unit. But uh, basically, is that it? <laughs> is that it? It's a huge fridge freezer 
that um, is portable, you can take it with you outside. We, we, we're just sort of dreaming of the fact that in the summer we're just going to have this outside, we're going to have a big load of ice in there, we're going to have our Cokes in there chilling, we're going to be outside drinking some nice drinks in the sunshine, and uh, yeah, that's where also it's going to be an absolute bonus, you know? But um, the food thing, all their meals, we had one meal out, and some soup in a pub. That was it for um, 11, 11 days away. So that's pretty incredible. There it is, it's a wrap. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Oh, one thing before I go. Oh, I nearly forgot the most important thing. Oh my God. So we got this unit from Susie um, and we got this unit. Susie was at the Shepton Mallet Motorhome Show. She does a lot of motorhome shows. She will be at the NEC in Birmingham, which is next month. It's February tomorrow. It's the end of January today. Next month, we're going to the NEC. We'll see you at the NEC. And uh, if you're after one of these units, Susie has got some of the latest products now, some different, uh, different styles. They've got a different lid on them now. Um, she's got some other... I was on the phone to her earlier on and she's got some amazing new products in the pipeline as well So uh, look out for Susie at the NEC if you're in the market for one of these fridges and she will do you a Amazing deal and just mentioned Mo Hotel Adventures Joff at Mo Hotel Adventures. She will sort you guys out. Okay, so we'll leave it there. There she is It's a uh, it's a wrap from me. I'm just gonna turn off them lights again Get the ambience, look at that, there she is. And we'll catch up with you soon, guys. Take it easy, bye-bye.